Hello and welcome everyone inside the Update studio. Tommy Marquez joined by Leah Pulaski, Flowmaster for the CrossFit Level 1 Seminar staff. Today we've got a coach's corner for 17.2. We're going to give you guys some tips and some tricks to maybe help you guys out when you tackle this workout. And remember, we also have Nicole Carroll's tips on the workout on the CrossFit YouTube channel. But what we want to do for you guys today is maybe answer some of your guys' questions directly and engage with you guys straightforward. So, Leah, let's take a quick look at what the workout was. It was announced last night, and there's a lot of moving parts for this particular workout. We've got two rounds to start of a 50-foot front rack walking lunge, 50 pounds on the dumbbell for the men, 35 for the women. That's done in 25-foot increments. So you go 25 out, 25 back. You'll do 16 toes to par, then eight power cleans with those dumbbells. After two rounds of that, you're going to swap out the toes to bar with bar muscle ups. You'll do two rounds with bar muscle ups, and if you make it past that point, you'll switch back to toes to bar, and so on and so on for 12 minutes. If you guys are just joining us, this is Coach Corner, Coach's Corner for 17.2, giving, giving you guys some tips and tricks for the workout. You can check here on the side. This is what we got coming for you in terms of movement prep. And, uh, and Leah, let's, let's start with the lunges. Last night during the open announcement, there was something that kind of stood out to you, not with the main athletes, but with the, uh, the secondary athletes, yeah, if you will. Yeah, it was pretty cool to look at during the row versus Boz segment. What we saw Roe and Boz do is they picked the dumbbells up and actually stacked them vertically on their shoulders. That was in contrast to what we saw with Christy and Carrie in their heats. So we have Rob Miller here with us. Rob's gonna demonstrate the difference between these two techniques. Specifically, what we wanna see is what we saw Roe and Boz do. So if you see him put this up on his shoulders, the dumbbells are stacked vertically. That's gonna ha require a lot more flexibility in the front rack position, but it's gonna take a little bit of load off of the grip. So Rob, if you can show us a lunge in that position. Cool, and rest. That's in contrast to a more horizontal dumbbell position that we saw Christy and Carrie use. So if he shows us that position, you'll note that there's less required in the front rack, so the elbows can be a little bit lower. Still resting on the shoulder, but now the grip is gonna be taxed a little bit more as well as the shoulders, if you can show us one there. Cool, and rest, thanks. Cool, so some cool, unique ways to you know, maximize your efficiency there. Yeah. Um, we're gonna move on to toes to bar now. Remember to keep your questions coming in on Facebook Live. We'll answer some of those at the end of the show. So Leah, in contrast to the to lunges, for the toes to bar, it was something you didn't see in the live announcement that you think people can benefit yeah, from. Yeah, absolutely. So what we saw there is a lot of athletes complained about their grip, and that's gonna be a huge factor in this workout. So the traditional grip for the toes to bar is gonna be something that's a double overhand. So you'll see Rob demonstrating that now. Something to consider and maybe try out is mixing your grip. Same way you might do in a high rep deadlift workout where a grip becomes a factor, trying to mix the grip just to save the forearms a little bit, maybe allow you to get a bit further in this workout. Thanks. Rob, looking good. Yeah, man. Lo lo loving you, have having you for the demo. So now let's move on to the next movement in the cleans. Yep. And something that Sam Briggs posted on social media, she actually had an Instagram post that kind of, uh, I don't know, Showed off a little yeah, bit. A little she was bit. kind of flexing her guns a little <laughs> bit, but she said the, the power cleans or the bicep curls definitely gave her a good pump. It's Sam Briggs, though. Right. You wouldn't necessarily recommend that for the rest of us. Yeah, so um, her Instagram handle is biceps like Briggs, and she's got some great guns. Um, what a lot of athletes might do in this movement is allow this to become more of a dumbbell curl. So, Rob, we're going to step forward a little bit for this one. Um, and what really happens here is as the dumbbells come up, you'll see them travel really far away from the body. And that's going to use more of kind of a bicep curl technique. It looks kind of like this. And do one more. Awesome. And relax. Um, might be really good for the beach. You can get a good pump going there. But for efficiency's sake in this workout, maybe thinking more like you would with a barbell clean. Thinking high elbows and allowing the dumbbells to kind of travel in line with your body. So Rob's going to show us two good reps there. And one more. Awesome. And relax. Maybe that'll allow you just to kind of keep that pump at a minimum and allow you to do some more reps in this workout. Thank you. All right. So the last, last thing we're going to kind of touch on, and that's possibly maybe even the crux of this workout, it's hand care and yeah. grip, especially with all the hanging from the bar. Absolutely. So we've heard from all the athletes that have done this thus far that we've interviewed that grip is a big factor. There's a lot of time spent on the bar itself. 
Um, for a lot of us, this is our game. So there's gonna be some redos definitely happening there. If you don't take care of your hands and kind of tear them up on take one, that's gonna limit you if you try to go at this one again. So just consider if you're used to using grips, maybe use some grips. If you tape your hands, tape your hands, and just make sure those calluses are kind of shaved down before you go after this one. I will definitely take your advice on that one. Yes. So <laughs> just a couple of questions from Facebook. We have one here from Mary Maneri. Would you recommend dropping the dumbbells after the 25? five feet or is it not recommended having to do that extra clean? Yeah, so I think that's something where you have to keep in mind what type of athlete you are. Um, we saw the games athletes even breaking up their dumbbell uh, walking lunges. So if your grip is really becoming a factor, absolutely put it down, take a couple quick, bre quick breaths and then pick them back up and go again. So I got one more as well from Kelly Torelli. She says, is it possible to scale the lunge? She has a problem doing it due to some nerve damage in her leg. Maybe what could be something you could recommend for a scale for her? Yeah, so um, unfortunately in the open, in order for us to put our score on the leaderboard, we're gonna have to meet the range of motion requirements, which are that the knee touches the ground and that you have the dumbbells in the rack in the lunge position, I'm sorry, in the front rack position. Um, some scaling options, if somebody doesn't have the ability to do the lunge and still wants to do this workout, although you couldn't enter your score, but think about maintaining the stimulus. So this is a lower body movement. Maybe you can reduce the range of motion on your lunge where maybe your knee doesn't quite touch the ground or potentially even scaling to something like an air squat if that doesn't give you pain. Cool. And so one last question here from Russell George. I think it's the question that I want to know the most. <laughs> How many toes to bar would you recommend stringing together for oh, this workout? Oh my goodness. So um, <laughs> that's not a question I can answer for you specifically, unfortunately. But you need to know kind of where your capacity lies. If you are a ninja at toes to bar and you have great grip strength, potentially you can get away with some bigger sets. For most of us mere mortals, I'm gonna go with a very conservative number um, and just come off the bar before you think you need to because there's a lot of reps happening here. Yeah, the last thing you want to happen is have your forearms blow oh, up, you can't hold on the bar. Absolutely. That does it for us for Coach's Corner, this time for 17.2. Rob, thank you for demoing. Such a such a handsome demo man. Got a little bicep pump there with yeah. those curls. Well, the Leah, fittest thank, engineer yeah, I think exactly, that we have. Yeah, exactly. Thank you so much. <laughs> Everyone, we're coming live to you guys later today at 2 p.m. for Frenemy Friday. But until then, that does it for us here in the studio. Best of luck on 17.2.